In this video, I'm going to talk about the last part of the urinary system or the urinary tract. That is the urinary bladder. The urinary bladder is a muscular organ of expandable nature. It's highly expansile organ and it is lying in normal circumstances in an adult person is lying behind the pubis the pubic bones and symphysis pubis okay as you can see in this model the bladder is lying just behind the symphysis pubis or pubic bone rather now I'm going to remove this model and I'll bring another model into your view just just to keep in mind that the bladder is you know it as it is the last part other than urethra urethra is just the exit passage so this is lying on the pelvic floor so imagine my my hands if you're able to see my hands are representing the pelvic diaphragm so the urinary bladder is a structure or the organ which is lying on the pelvic diaphragm okay receiving the two ureters right and left on either side now I'm going to describe its general external features and relations in this video Done. Okay, so here, uh, when I say in an empty state, the urinary bladder is a tetrahedral structure, okay? By that I mean to say it has four surfaces or four walls. Here in front of you, I, I have made a clay model which probably will be explaining its shape in a much better way. And then I will show you the things on a real model, a plastic model, okay? So here, uh, the four surface we'll be talking about, a superior surface of the bladder, like the camera is looking at the anterior view of through the bladder. The posterior view is facing my body. And these are the side walls, okay? The lateral views. I'm holding the bladder in this position, which usually is the anatomical position, inside the pelvic cavity above the pelvic diaphragm. So you have to imagine this bladder is empty, okay? So the surface on which I'm running my probe is the superior surface or superior wall. It's also known as the fundus of the bladder because it's like a dome, okay? Then there are a right and a left, or a left, or left and right, according to your view. Inferior lateral surfaces, because this was the superior surface, and running down from this surface on either side are the inferior lateral surfaces. A right inferior lateral and a left inferior lateral. Okay? So we are done with the three surfaces. Now I will be flipping the model. The posterior aspect will be under your view. This is also known as, if I put it like this, this is also known as the base of the bladder and, and posterior surface, okay? Why we call it the base? Because it's like, imagine my fingers are representing the pelvic floor or pelvic diaphragm. So this is the surface or the wall or the bo yeah surface or the wall of the urinary bladder which is resting on the floor. So oops, this is the base of the bladder. Okay? So we have a superior surface which is also known as the fundus, two inferior lateral surfaces, and a posterior surface which is also known as the base of the bladder. If we have a base, then you, we must be having an apex. So this pointy part of the bladder, which is like a you know pointed uh, nipple, 
is the apex of the bladder. That is lying just behind the symphysis pubis. Okay, so the apex of the bladder, the base of the bladder, and then we have a tapered off region which has to get out of the pelvic cavity. So this region where the, the, the right and left inferolateral borders or, or surfaces are meeting each other and with the posterior surface, this region, this narrow funnel shaped region is known as the neck of the bladder. The neck of the bladder, you have to keep in mind, is lying on top of the, it's the, 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 the part of the urinary bladder which is in direct contact with the pelvic diaphragm. Whatever is lying below the neck of the diaphragm, it's the continuation of the neck and it's not known as bladder anymore. It's not a part of bladder. You call it the urethra in both sexes.